about it. I'll tell you what I'm intending to do about it. What I'm doing right now. Trying to get the world to know that you need Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'd love to call Donald Trump and say, Donald, can I talk to you a little bit? You, you got a lot of guts, buddy. I, 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 I like that man. I, I do. I like it. <clears throat> Why don't you just get up on national television and say, I finally got the answer to gun control. Everybody read my, read my lips. J-E-S-U-S. -E -S. Mm -hmm. Someone say amen. amen. Everybody's beating around the bush. Yeah. But it's Jesus. Someone say Jesus. Jesus. And he went through all the summer. He went through, so we not have to live this way. Someone say hallelujah. 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 That's right. Oh, Lord God. <laughs> He despised the rejected men and men of pain, sorrow, and acquainted with grief, sicknesses. And we hid our faces from him, and we despised him, received him not in earth. We, we still hated him, and we didn't put no value on him. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we don't have no value on Jesus, most, right. most people. Mm -hmm. But I pity people that is trying to hang on to him. But they don't understand the true love that God the Father did with His Son. Because, uh, let, let me go to find this other verse right here for you real quick. Uh, how many of you know that it was not the choice of Jesus to suffer like that? Verse 10 of chapter 53. This is what it says. Yet it pleased the Lord, God the Father, to bruise Him. And He made Him, a, made him to grief. It pleased God, God the Father, to do this to His Son. How many you know what kind of love is it that the Father would do that to His Son? For God so loved you and I, the world that He gave His only begotten Son. It pleased the Father. Mm. Now it's time that we get to the place where we understand what Jesus went through for us, and if we can get that in our, in our hearts, so we're, we're going to have life and life more abundantly. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So say amen. 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 The devil come to steal and to kill. Yes, yeah. he does. But Jesus said, but I come to give you life. And yes. life more yes. Let the amen. devil pull his tax, but it ain't going to be. That's right. Greater the weapon for him because it's a prosper. So say amen. Amen. The weapon can be formed, but it ain't going to prosper. So right. say amen. Amen. I believe the devil's always out here trying to fix up his weapons. They keep getting broke. <laughs> Every time we we say Jesus, he says, I'll take care of it. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He had put him to grief. God put his son to grief. We now shall make his soul an offering for sin. Jesus had to offer his soul for sin. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus. Jesus you think Jesus wanted to go through all that kind of stuff? He knew how horrible it was going to be. That's why in the garden he prayed three times earnestly. Lord, let this cup pass from me. Prayed earnestly that his sweat become great drops of blood. Yes. Then he finished with, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will. Yes. So say amen. So say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For you and me. He did it for, let somebody say he done it for me. He done it for me. And until we can make this so yeah. personal, we're going to live a defeated, messed up, miserable, rotten, stinking life. Mm -hmm. So to say amen. 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 That's why I love that song that Rochelle sings, mm -hmm. I'm a child of the king. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Jesus. I'm no longer a slave. Yeah. How I many know people can be, get saved but still be a slave to Satan? Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? You talking about sin? I'm not talking about sin. I'm talking about sickness and deformity and yeah. grief and hardship. And mm -hmm. Come on, talk to me here. Amen. Every great man and, man and woman of God, God blessed them abundantly. When he brought Egypt out, Israel of Egypt, 40 years. 
the shoes that wear out, not, nothing happened to them. Mm -hmm. By the way, if anybody wants to buy me some shoes, <laughs> these shoes here is almost 30 years old. They're brown, size 10 and a half wide, <laughs> the high tops with a zipper here. Uh, you can buy them, send them to me, and then I need a pair of black because they're holy shoes. They got holes in them. Does, does that shoe have holes in it, brother? It does. I, I go someplace. I can feel the wetness of the dirt on the ground. What size? Nine and a half, double. How many you know th these shoes have been to many nations, have seen many miracles? And I'll tell you what, if you want the shoes, I'll send them to you too. You, you, <laughs> I just carry it all with you. <laughs> yeah, please the Lord to bruise him, he had put him to, 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 to grief. When thou shalt make a soul an offering for sin. He shall see his seed, and he shall prolong his days. How do you know we're the seed of the Lord? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm a child of God. Amen. I'm not a baby of God. We're, we're, child, we're children of God, so we say amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the approach here. I feel like I'm just chopping this all up. Verse 4. Surely, 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 absolutely, positive, surely he had borne, carried our griefs, our sicknesses, and carried our sorrows, our pains. Yet we did, did see him, did not see him stricken, spit of God and afflicted. Now, even though he went through that, people still don't, don't understand that God did it for us. God the Father did it for us, and Jesus did it for us. Mm. How much you love me? used to be a thing, uh, people, somebody said to Jesus, how much you love me? And Jesus said, this much, and he stretched out his arms yeah. on the oh, cross. Yes, man. Bible says, no greater love than a man that laid down his life for another. And that's what Jesus did. The Father loved us so much, he said, son, they're going to go to hell, they're going to live a tormented life, but I'll send you. And you can die on that cross and take away their sins so they can have life and life more abundantly and so they could Amen. come up in the resurrection. Amen. Hmm. Jesus didn't want it. But yet, Jesus didn't want it and Paul says, I want it. Oh. How many of you ever prayed for somebody as a hard case and said, Lord, whatever it takes to save their soul, do it. Mm. Mm. There's cancer where and your, your prayer came to pass. Mm -hmm. A brother and I, I don't know how many other people, my own family members, I had to pray a hard prayer that God would save their soul, but it took sickness and tragedy to do so. Mm -hmm. It took all kinds of horrible tragedies for me to get saved. I beat my finger in that preacher's nose, told him, get away from me, I don't believe in that kind of stuff. But God got my attention. Mm -hmm. Yet we seem to have not smitten of God and afflicted. Who did, who killed Jesus? We did. We did. People say we did. But how many did God smit him? Mm -hmm. God smote his own son. Why did he smote him? Because he had sin on him. He carried all our sins. He could not enter the kingdom of heaven because he is full of sin. I, I, he takes away the sin of the world. And God said, but you're spotless, you're pure. Mm -hmm. But if you take their sin, I'll save them and I'll give them life and life more abundantly. Verse wow. 5. But he is wounded for our transgressions. He is wounded. Every area of our life, he, he took a beating or punishment or, or something for it, but he wounded for our transgressions. <clears throat> I heard about, uh, I forget where it was at, but some man, when they took hostages and so forth, this one man told, told this terrorist, he said, let them go, I'll take their place. Yes. And he did so, he took their place. That was very good. Amen. Amen. That was very good. Amen. But how many of you know Jesus did better than that? He took all of our places. Mm. I 
told the church this morning, I said, you know what the trouble with, with the church with all of us are? We don't know and don't praise him enough. That's right. I said, I tell God probably a couple times a day, Lord, if you gave me all eternity, and I could praise you starting with every second, all through eternity, I could never still get caught up on all the praises is due to you. How many know he's worthy of honor, oh, worthy yes, of love, yes. worthy Amen. of praise, worthy Amen. of worship? Jesus. Come on. Yes. And we, we're so forgetful, so ungrateful. Mm. Yeah. But how many know it's still a trigger of the devil? The devil, if the devil can keep your life a messed up situation, keep you sick or family trouble, just that, your mind will be on the problem yes. more on the, the, the Lord, the problem solver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many know sometimes we need smacked up alongside the head to wake us up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. He's ready for our trinkets. He's bruised for our necklace. He chastised our pieces upon him. I mean, he took a video so we could have peace. How many can also say that we always have peace? Mm -hmm. Peace. Yep. Peace. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace. We have a little spurts of peace. But by the time you have a little spurt of peace, here comes the devils. Everybody know what I'm talking about? You just got fired, so and so sick, so and so's dying, so and so's going on with this. All kinds of stuff. He was bruised for our iniquities, our sins. He, he bruised, he, he took a horrible beating, punishment for, for our sins. I don't know, we don't have to take it. Because he took it. Amen. That's right. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is a flow, and makes me white as snow. No other do I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. But he's wounded for our transgressions. He is bruised for our iniquity. He chastised our people, and with his stripes we might be healed. We are healed. With his stripes we are healed. Then tell me, why is it that so many people say they're Christians, never get healed, they die of their sickness or condition or whatever it is? Something's not right. Somebody say, something's not right. Something's not right. Something's not right. Not right. Could it be that we don't really know what he done for us? We know of it. Everybody's coming home with me, I'm going to try to close. We know of what he done, Amen. but we don't know how much he loved us to do it. Mm. Somebody yeah. say it's all about faith. It's all, it's all about, about faith. faith. It is. That's it. It is. If you spend time with somebody all the time, you're going to get to know, know them pretty good. How, how many know we need a whole bunch of Enoch's? We took Enoch, I think it was 960 years to get to the place where he was and God took him home. I think if it took him 960 years to get to the place where God took him home, I think we got a long ways to go. But I don't believe it has to take us 960 years. He is wounded for my transgressions. He is for my iniquities. He chastised my pieces up on, and with his stripes, I am healed. How many of you know we got to make that the Bible personal? Mm -hmm. Yep. Amen. Amen. I mean, if Jesus Christ himself walked right in here in a body form, and he walked over to any one of us and say these words, I was wounded for your transgressions, I was bruised for your iniquities, uh, the chest of your peace was up on me, and with, with 
my stripes you are healed. Will, will you believe it? I, I, I say, God, God what, what can I do? What can I do? I mean, I have enough so-called junk going on in my life. And Satan wants to shut my mouth up for good. And the other people, my beautiful little wife, she she authorized herself to be hitting her bones and so forth. She's so tired and aches. She had all these strokes, like five strokes, a major operation. They gave her up to die. But she keeps saying all the time, "We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it." She looks at me, don't you give up. I said, don't you give up. He that endureth to the end of the century. Say, it does not mean life's always going to be easy, but we can endure it and go through it and say, my victory's coming, my victory's amen. on its way. So I say, hallelujah. Amen. Yes, hallelujah. amen. That's why I like to get together with believers. Yep. And they start to cover one another. You can yes. make it. You can make it. You can make it. Mm -hmm. Verse 6. All we are like sheep gone astray. How many of you can also say that since you met the Lord, you went astray? I can I could say many times I did. Not not to the point of backsliding, because in, in almost 40 years I, I just kept going to church. But man, I was drifting off. How many of you ever got lukewarm? Situations, problems in your life that you had to take care of. All of us are like sheep going straight. We have turned everyone to his own way. Well, I don't think I have to go to church that much. I don't think I have to read my Bible that much. I don't think I have to pray that much. I, I, I don't think I have to witness that much. I, I, come on. We're, we're all there. Yep. We're all there. Brother Michael, God told me something about you tonight. Pastor Michael, if you only knew the plans that God has for you. Mm -hmm. I've said that through the Spirit of God to you at the time, but I want you to understand something. I'm not trying to discourage you. Satan knows who you are, too. And Satan will do everything he can to discourage you, hit you, no matter what it is, that, which is common to all men. Beloved, thinking not strange concerning the fiery trial which come upon you, which is try you as some strange thing has happened. But all you have to do is keep your eyes on Jesus. Amen. This is why I want to try to encourage everyone. Memorize scripture, quote scripture. I lay in bed, not, not this is no braggadocious stuff. But I lay in bed at night so and quote scripture until I fall asleep. We need to quote scripture. We need to sing in tongues. Yeah. You lay there and pray until you start to hear music from heaven. And you start singing in tongues mm -hmm. and God gives you an interpretation of it. Mm -hmm. How many of you know that's putting on the mind of Christ? Mm -hmm. But Satan will get a hold of your mind and he'll make you toss and turn all night long thinking about junk. Mm -hmm. So say amen. Right. amen. Make you worry about this and that, what tomorrow holds. Take no thought for tomorrow, what tomorrow should bring. Amen. Talk to him. Amen. We are like sheep going astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. The Lord has laid upon him, Jesus, the victory of us all. Do you know that Jesus took our sins, knew our sins, knew our name before the foundation of the world? He foreknew us. He did for that. He took our sins, and when he was on that cross, he said, I did it for Jim. But actually, he didn't say that. He said, Jimmy Wayne Humphreys. Amen. That's what my name is. It's not. James W. Humphrey, Uncle Sam did that. But my real name is Jimmy Wayne Humphreys with an S. Mm -hmm. See, you thought you knew who, who was up here to you. <laughs> <laughs> when I was traveling to nations, I got in a lot of trouble because they said we need a birth certificate. So we had to get the birth certificate. Verse 7. He was oppressed. He was afflicted. Yet opened not his mouth. How many of you know 
it takes a lot when you go, when you're being oppressed and afflicted and, and poor misery not, not to open your mouth. How many know most people have gone through things that have you? Did you ever meet somebody like that? Yep. Huh? Yep. <laughs> the, the harder the devil hits you, the meaner you get. But that's not supposed to be that way. He's brought as a lamb to the slaughter. Jesus did not kick and carry on when he's taken him to the cross. When he's going to torture him and whip him and all this kind of stuff. As a sheep were slaughtered, he is dumb. He did, the Bible says, so he opened out his mouth. Mm -hmm. He dragged me in. I said, kill Jason, kill Jason. <laughs> how, how many of you know she opened out his mouth? What did he say? Father, forgive him. He didn't know what to Amen. do. Mm. Verse 8. He was taken from prison, from judgment. Who should declare his generation? He was cut off of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was, was he stricken. He, he, his beard was plucked from him that, that pulled the flesh right out of his face. Mm. Now, anybody who don't believe that happens, I'll tell you what to do. Just get yourself a nice handful of somebody who's got a beard and pull on it, and guess what? You won't pull beard out, you'll pull the flesh right off the face. Say amen. And he put that crown of thorns on his head. It's poison. His eyes were so shut, could not see. Pierced with sword, the nails, the beating. When he's done with it, what does the Bible say? I'll read it one more time. As many were astounded at the, his vestures, his image was so marred more than any man, his form more than the sons of men. He's a glove of flesh. Brother Dave, he did it for you. He did it for every one of us. So we say amen. Amen. How many of you can walk around and raise your hand and say, I was bought with a price? Yes. For God so loved me so much that he gave his only begotten son. We're special. Some say, I'm special. Yeah. I'm special. T.J. Jakes preached one of the best messages on, uh, what was the title of the message? He said, how God is for some people. And he said, and he's swore. He said, a lot of people said, it's not right. He's got you swore. He said, I know, but he said, just let him keep on swore. And somebody say, amen. Mm -hmm. Let God bless me. Verse 9. He made his grave with the wicked, with the rich in his death, because he had done no vows, neither was a seat in his mouth. I want to talk to the people out there, whether it be in Pakistan or whether the nation might be or in this local area. If you come here to the church to visit with us or whatever, Brother Humphrey's not going to get up and what Apostle Paul talks about here a couple minutes. He said, I have not obtained you, I have not arrived yet. Brother Humphrey's not going to get up here and say, follow me because I know what I'm talking about. I'll just tell you this. If you come here, I'll tell you, we've got a long ways to go. I did not say you have a long ways to go. I said we have a long ways to go. Could you look at somebody and say we have a long ways to go? We have a long, long ways to go. Long way to go. I'll tell you, back many years ago, I told this story before. I mean, you can fast and pray and seek God and so forth and have an intimate relationship with him. And I was having an intimate relationship with him there for a couple of years. And I left to go to my head. I really thought there was nobody in the world that was walking so close to him except me. And I remember when Jesus said, not only the works I've done, but greater works than these shall you do, because I go to my Father. 
and I'm sitting in the bathroom, and the water's running in the tub. They're ready to take a bath. And I looked at that water and so and said, if Jesus walked on the water, I can too. You say, that's stupid, that's worse than that hum. That is true. And I stepped up, walked through that bathtub, and how many you know to get in the bathtub you have to step up like this here. And I raised my foot to stand in that water and I put me down in the water and I smashed my head against the wall. I was so upset. I said, God, why? My face was there that I could stand on water, walk on water. He says, I'm needful at the present time. It's just for your own glory. But how many of you know, I should have been able to do it, but only if it brought glory to God. How many of you know, you can come to a place in God where all things are possible to him that believe. You say that night and go, you say that second world tree go, whatever you say, come on. We're living so far under what we're supposed to be. It's a shame. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the message tonight. We thank you, God, for your word. Father, we ask the people around the world, Lord, contact us and let us know they've heard the message and so forth. Lord, let the people write and tell us, God, the situations. Let them send pictures, wherever it might be, Lord. Father, we, we, I ask that everybody in, around the world would be encouraged in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, the whole church say amen. Sister Karen, amen. come up and close us in prayer. Sister Karen, come up and yes. close us in prayer. Okay. <laughs> Instant season, I'll see. Hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. Glory to God. Father God, thank yes, we Lord. thank you for this night, oh God. Thank you, Father. Father God, and we thank you, and we and we thank you for the word that you gave to the prophet tonight, oh God. And and Father God, as we leave this place tonight, may we remember each and everything that the prophet spoke to us tonight, Lord God. Let us let us remember this night, Lord God. Father God, as we venture out on the highways and byways. Mm -hmm. I, I ask for your mercies to be upon each yes. and every one of us, Lord God, Father God, to, to get us home safely and speedily yes. in the name of your son, Jesus. And Father God, we give you all the glory, all the honor, and the praise that you deserve. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Secretary for Upper Room Ministry. You can see the rest of this message each Sunday evening, your local time. If you would like to receive our monthly newsletter and know the things the Lord is speaking to Prophet Humphrey, then please send a love offering to help cover our expenses. Also, if you would like to have an anointed prayer cloth and become a ministry partner, send us your picture so we can pray lay hands on you and your need and expect signs wonders and miracles in your life starting today you will never be the same our website is upperroomministry.net if you would like to schedule a speaking engagement contact our ministry all glory to jesus amen amen